Hi, I'm Sarah Austin from Startup Silicon Valley on Bravo, and this is Solidified. Hey everybody, we're here with Sarah Austin from Bravo's new reality series, Startup Silicon Valley, so welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Talk to us about the premise of the show, because I know it's following a bunch of like 20-some-year-olds, you know, techies, and mostly startups. It's called startups, but really you guys kind of cover the whole spectrum, right? The story is really just about these entrepreneurs, and we're all trying to make the next Facebook and change the world. Mm -hmm. And we just work so hard, but we also party hard. Talk to us about, um, you know, everyone else in the cast as well. Are you all friends? Did you know each other before or did you guys just meet? We're all pretty much friends. Okay. We all run in the same circles and mm -hmm. are in the same group. It's called Startups. You all have startups. And you also started Pop17, right? So talk to us about that. I have a startup, pop17.com. Mm -hmm. And it's all about empowering youth's lives through social media, mm -hmm. online, micro-celebrity. And I think that this is a process that really involves the whole um, in teen years mm -hmm. when you're just developing your personal brand for the first time and is a process that's great for the whole family. Now we saw a little bit of drama as well. I'm sure you've read a bunch of the articles that have come out with you and Hermione. So what happened there? You described a little bit of like the falling out. Can you give us some more of that? In the show you can see us talking about it and mm -hmm. you know I think that it's a very reflective process for me to see um, like how I don't know, I can learn from it. Like, mm -hmm. I want to be more connecting on an emotional level, you mm -hmm. know? And I think I was sort of like, oh, it's all about the facts and business. And yeah. she was coming from where it seemed like an emotional place. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think that now that I saw the episode, yeah. <laughs> I can learn from that and hopefully we'll be friends in the future. So you mentioned watching the show and learning from it. Now, you were there and you experienced, you taped all these episodes and now you're sitting back and you're watching it. Is it really what you experienced? Do you feel like it's kind of different? I feel like it's kind of different because mm -hmm. there's so much more that was edited out mm -hmm. and there's so much context that yeah. not everybody gets to see. If anything, it's a very reflective process mm -hmm. to watch yourself and I just sort of felt like I was watching a movie star or something yeah. <laughs> because I didn't feel like I was looking at myself. I yeah. felt like it was an it was just an out-of-body experience. I can't mm -hmm. really explain it. So based on this first episode, you know, a lot of critics and the articles that you're hearing, you maybe were painted a, a little bit as the villain. Um, how would you respond to that? And is there a change? Is that you? or? Well, look, we were at a professional party, and mm -hmm. there were people like the VP of Google there. Mm -hmm. And I can't just sit back and let people say that I'm writing unprofessional emails and mm -hmm. conducting myself like that because my livelihood and my business is my personal brand. Mm -hmm. I'm a life caster, a video blogger, and I have to maintain that image. And so I was just defending myself and trying to clear the air. Okay. And hopefully I don't come off too much like the villain. I don't think you will see that any more in the next episodes after this one. Cool, thank you so much for joining us again. Thank it was great you. having you. And thank congratulations you. on the show. Thank you so much. And all of you, make sure you watch because as Sarah promised, there is a lot more excitement and drama to come. So you do not want to miss Startups Silicon Valley on Bravo Mondays at 10, 9 central.